The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. Craven Wings Two Minute Drill on this Tuesday. Don't forget, tomorrow is Wing Ding Wednesday. Hover at Craven Wings, and they've got all that great goodness for the Saturday lunch brunch buffet over there at the Chodo location. Talk to Glenn Ellerby today. He knows they've got a long ways to go, but they've got more pieces than they had a year ago. The question is, is do those pieces equal the same amount of success as last year's group had? Well, it's hard to, to say that it's going to when you talk about where Darnell Wright is. And, and Jerome Carvin. And Jerome Carvin is a guy probably not talked about by a lot of people. It's pretty clear when you listen to Glenn Ellerby how much he appreciates yeah. what Jerome Carvin brought to this team and what he meant to this team. But the thing that you learn from Glenn Ellerby today is there's a plan in place. And the plan is pretty clear. J.J. Crawford, Mincy, Dane Davis are swing guys right now at tackle. They want to cross-train them on the right side and the left side. John Campbell's going to work exclusively at left till he gets a grasp of this offense because he's most comfortable on the left side. You've asked the question about backup center. It feels like right now it's Addison Nichols' job if he can go out and win it because he's working exclusively at center right now behind Cooper Mays. Yeah, and then and working out a little bit at guard, Andre Carrick. Still, to me, has a, long, a little bit of ways to go as far as upper body strength and just the physical uh, nature of playing inside. But clearly, they like him to be able to compete there with Jackson Lampley and Ollie Lane. You talk to Alec Ablin, and you know he'll be the first to say he's not got a deep unit, but he does like the three that he has in his room, plus a couple of walk-ons. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what you're getting with Jacob Warren. He's a veteran. He's been around. The question is, how much can McCollin Castles? jump into this offense, learn it as an experienced college football player, and then how quickly can Ethan Davis figure out some things? And we've talked about it. To, to me, the question about that group is going to be their physicality. Yeah. Can they play physical in the run game and be successful? I don't I don't worry about them in the passing game. I think all three of those guys can be weapons for them in the pass game. But to magnify and, and to really accentuate how good of a weapon they can be in the passing game, they've got to be able to block in line when they motion them in and the things they want to do in this tempo offense. Addison Nichols spoke with us today. Hubbard, he understands there's some opportunity in front of him, but you know the, the center part of this is still so new to him. I know he did a little bit last year, but you know I'm not sure mentally he ever really committed to it, right? Yeah, well, I mean, he says he understands the center and, got, and is comfortable there, but, you know, we'll see in scrimmage settings. It's one thing to be comfortable on the practice field. I mean, he, he's got a, a mental grasp of it, but it's going out and playing it the, as fast as you sure. need it to play. It, it's one thing to understand what to do, but then you've got to go out and execute it. And I think that's still a learning process for him. He's physically better than he's been. It looks like he's gotten stronger and he's bigger, which is a positive He's just got to go out and play at the tempo that that position has to play, which is not an easy challenge. No, and speaking of tempo, McAllen Castle's trying to understand the tempo, learn the tempo, and learn playing in this league versus playing at UC Davis. Yeah, I mean, and that's a, I mean, that's a, tra that's a transformation. I mean, you, you, that, that's not easy. You know, I know he wanted to come here and play against the best competition, not just on Saturdays, but on the practice field, and he's got indoctrination with that. I mean, there are guys faster here than he ever saw at UC Davis. I'm not knocking UC Davis, but there's a different talent level, which is what he wanted. He's having to gra grasp it right now. And, um, you know, I think he, he think he will, but it's going to take some time. It's not just a simple plug and play kind of guy. He is Brent Hubbs. He's the ultimate plug and play kind of guy. You just pull the cord in the back and watch him go here on the Craven Wings two minute drill.